Hello everyone, I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick tutorial of the features that are provided on the online star. Um, everyone will be taking an online star in some version unless you've been informed otherwise. And the features that I'm going to show you today will be available to every student. Now there are some students that will have additional features, um, but you will be told if you do have them. Otherwise, everything in this video will be available to you to use, and they're pretty helpful. So I wanted to make sure that you have a good understanding of how to use them. So first things first, you definitely want to check up here in the bar and make sure that you are in the right test and that your name is showing. So this shows that this is the 2021 Star English 2 release test. Um, you want to make sure that the test that is indicated here matches the test on your ticket and that you're supposed to be taking. You also want to make sure that instead of saying guest or some other name, it does have your name listed up here and then your TSDS ID will also be indicated here and you want to make sure all of this information matches the information on your ticket. If it does not, you want to let your test proctor or teacher know so that we can make sure that you are in the right test and that it will count um, towards your uh, test grade. All right, so one of the things that I really like about the new test is that you can click over here in items and it'll show you the number of questions you have and it will also tell you which question you're on. So you see how it has the gray arrow that means I'm on test question one and the red triangle as the legend indicates means that those are unanswered. This is also where you can check to see where you have questions flagged and I will show you how to do that in a minute. Alright so obviously this is a very short practice test it only has four questions. So when you're moving through your questions there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use the next button to go to the next question or the back button to go to the previous question or you can use the numbers over here. So right now I'm on test question one which is highlighted in blue but then I can click on two and it'll move me that way as well. So again there are two ways to move through the test. You can either go back and forward or you can just click on the number that you would like. All right, and then again, let's say I'm on qu test question two, I can go to item and it will show me that I am on test question two and that I have not answered any of them. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the text side first because this is an English test. Um, so the test that will probably have this is your English test, biologies, and your US history test. So you'll normally have a text or information on this side. You can scroll up and down through the information. Notice there is a gray little arrow down here that indicates that there is more text to move through. Okay, and notice it disappears once you're at the end of the text. So that will help you know uh, where you're at when you're looking at the text selection. Now, there is a highlighting feature that you can utilize. Notice it's grayed out right now. On the text side, um, to be able to highlight, you actually have to highlight what you want. So I highlighted the first two sentences and I can go here to highlight, highlight selection and choose my color. Now let's say you've highlighted too much or you want to remove the highlight. You simply highlight what you want removed, go back to the highlight section and do remove highlight. Uh, and also notice that there are multiple colors. So you can choose which colors you name and that's how you highlight your text. So again, just scroll up and down and make sure that you are reading the entire text um, and that you've seen all the information that you need. All right, so when we go to the questions, there are several features on this side as well that you can utilize. So notice there is a drop down box here. You can mark for review. You can use a sticky note. You can also highlight, but the highlight on this side works a little different and I'll show you how. And then there's also strike through. So let's start with mark for review. If you click it, you'll notice a little flag is here. Then when you go up to your items, it will also indicate a little flag. So that's an easy way to um, mark questions for you to come back to. It makes it a lot easier. Also notice that the little corner turns down right here to indicate that there is a flag there. If you want to remove the flag, again, you can just hit remove flag. With the sticky notes, you can click sticky notes and you can type your notes in here. Okay, you would hit save and close because if you don't hit save and close, it's not going to save 
the notation, but just hit save and close and notice a little sticky note pops up here. Now, if you want to actually see the note, do not click here, that's not going to work. What you would do is you would go here and then you would just click sticky note again and it will pop up for you. All right. Now, for the highlighting, it does work similarly. So let's say I want to highlight a word. I'd have to highlight it here and then go ahead and select highlight. And then I could also reset my highlight if I want to take it off. Then we have strike through. So strike through is a little tricky. Um, even I was a little confused when I first used it. But what you'll do is you'll click strike through and then it'll give you the options of where you can strike through something. So let's say I want to strike through option C. I would click option C and then click out of it and notice that it's been grayed out and there's a strike through. If I want to remove that strike through, I can go ahead and click strike through again and select it once more and it will remove it. Now to use that again, you're gonna have to click outside the selection to make sure that it works. So let me show you that one more time. Strike through. Let's say I want to do A, it's been grayed out, then click outside, and there it's striked out. Okay, so those are those options. Very handy. I really like them. Um, and then here it does have the down arrow indicator, but again, there's nothing really much to scroll through, but you can scroll up and down. All right, so now we've gone through the text section and the question section. Let's go ahead and review the toolbar. You have your dictionary. You can click your dictionary. And let's say I want to look up the word effective. So I would type in effective and dictionary. It'll show me that there is one entry found. And if I scroll down, it will give me the definition for that term. Anything that's in blue, you can click. And it will also give you the definition of that as well. When you're done using the dictionary, you can go ahead and exit out of it. There is also a notepad that's for the entire test. Okay, and notice up here it says unsaved notes will be lost when the notepad is closed. To save notes before closing the notepad, click save and close. Notes are not scored. You must record your response to the answer space provided. So anything that you put in here is not actually going to show up on your actual test. Um, this is just notes for yourself. Okay, and then again, you'd have to hit save and close. And then if I wanted to see it again, I would just click my notes. So this is for the entire test to where this sticky note is specific to that question. Notice when I open the notepad again, it's only the notes that I put in the notepad and not the ones that I actually put on the sticky note. You have a line reader. A line reader is where you can click on the text itself and it will highlight the line so you can read it and know exactly where you're at. To turn it off again, you would just click line reader. Of course, you have your zoom out and your zoom in that will make things bigger, okay? But this is as small as you can make it, um, but you can pretty make it pretty big if you'd like, all right? There is also a save button over here that I did not talk about uh, earlier, but this save button um, is basically to help you save as you're going, but it does auto save, so you really do not have to worry about it. Over here is your help button. If you have any questions, you can look through there. And then also you have a pause. Now, we will only use this pause button is if you're going to the bathroom um, or you're taking a little break or let's say there's a fire drill or some sort of emergency where we need to leave the building, you would just click pause and it saves all your information in place. Also over here, notice that there is a status bar. It'll tell you how far you've gotten in the test as far as percentage wise, and this will start to fill up the more you go through it. So let's say I answered my questions. I'm not answering these correctly. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Let's say I get to the end of the test and I want to make sure I've done all the questions. Again, I can go here to items and it will show me that I still have more to go. Um, and notice that more have popped up and I still need to do all of these. 
Again, I can always click back to go to whichever question I need. And I can also click forward. Okay. Also notice when I click to skip questions, it will say you have not answered one or more parts of a question. Click the yes button to go to the next question and no to stay on this one. So if I click yes, it will actually take me to, to question nine. But again, it's just a way to warn me that I still have a whole bunch of questions I did not answer. So there's a lot of ways to make sure that you're answering all the questions and make sure that you do not submit the test until you have answered all the questions. So those are the, the features of the new online test. Hopefully you use them. I do believe that they're going to help us out a lot in terms of understanding some of the questions and making some of the questions a lot easier. Um, if you have any questions, always raise your hand and ask your test proctor. Um, and I wish you the best of luck.